Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Victoria Beckham Beauty. I picked up two Victoria Beckham products during the Black Friday sale and I'm really excited to talk about them. I know there's a lot of buzz around this brand, so let's jump in. When the brand first launched, I was super interested in the products, but honestly, I didn't really like any of the shades. I know the lid lusters started with like a bright kind of champagne white shade, a dark blue and a few others. Um, and then the lip tint started out with like a berry, like a brown berry shade. So none of the shades really spoke to me, but I was totally obsessed with the packaging. So when I saw that they released new shades of the lid luster and the lip tint, I was already sold. Plus you got 20% off of the Black Friday sale. I think both of these retail normally for $36. I think based on, you know, the way the products perform, the shades, the packaging, the brand itself, none of us are surprised that it would be a luxury brand with higher end pricing. I mean, like, I don't think anyone would expect Victoria Beckham to release drugstore prices. So I think the price points are spot on. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like, super beautiful. They feel very heavy in the hands, which I love. Um, and they have this kind of like black or maybe dark brown um, glass packaging with the sort of like tortoise shell kind of vibe. I think it's just very beautiful. And uh, let's jump in to the first one. Let's talk about the lid luster. So I picked up the shade T Rose, which looks like this. I'll be honest, the shade in person does not look like what it looks like on the website. Um, on the website, it kind of looks like this rosy, I want to say like uh, rosy, slightly plum, slightly coppery shade. But on me and in the pot here, it kind of looks like very plummy taupe. So I have to say, I just wasn't expecting it to look like this. But let's just talk about the formula and the way that it performs. And I'm going to do that while I put it on my face. I'm going to scoot in here. And with any type of, um, you know, glittery shadow, I always use my fingers. You can see it's not crumbling or anything. Um, this is just what a sheer layer looks like. Uh, and I will definitely do a comparison at the end to other similar formulas. But let's just apply it on the eyes. I'm going to try to do a sheer layer and see how that looks. I'm just gonna press it in. That's the way I kind of like to start. And then, you know, you wanna kind of buff the shimmer in. It gets more shimmery as you kind of blend with your finger. And I find that blending with my finger means I don't have as much fallout. Brushes I find with these types of shadows just don't work quite as well. And you know, your hands are free. So that's a plus. And then I kind of bring it up a little bit into the crease with my finger. And then I'll tap on a little bit more on the lid. There you go, you can see what it looks like. So now that I have the messy shape down, I'm just gonna go in and use this, you know, disgustingly old Mac crease brush. I think this was the 217, but I don't even know if they make that anymore. Um, and I'm just going to buff out the edges slightly. You can see it just performs beautifully. Ooh, that's a fuzz. Um, it performs so beautifully. No fallout. I mean, zero fallout. And it just looks gorgeous. So easy to apply. It was that fast. Now I'm going to do the other eye. Slap on some mascara and I'll be right back. All right, so my eyes are done. This is what it looks like. I added some matte brown shadow under my lash line, some brown gel liner on my upper waterline, and then some mascara. Um, you can see that the result is a really beautiful, shimmery, smoky eye. Um, and I think it just performs beautifully. It looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm super impressed by the formula. Here's where I have an issue. I thought I was buying something completely different. I mean, to me on the website, it looked like it was a lot more of like a rosy, rose gold, coppery situation. But this to me looks quite plummy taupe on my eyelids. And then there's a lot of um, gold glitter. I'll see if I can get up close. 
I probably have mascara all over my lids, but it's fine. I think it's beautiful, but I just don't really reach for this kind of shade right now. This is for me kind of like my going out look where I would wear this to like date night or a concert, but we're in the middle of a pandemic. So I'm not doing a lot of smoky eyes. In fact, I'm not doing any smoky eyes. I'm pretty much just doing like a wash of sheer shadow and that's it. So I'm actually going to be giving this to my friend. She has dark skin and I think it's just going to look freaking beautiful on her. And I think the shade honey is probably more appropriate for what I want. Um, I'm just waiting to see other people with like my fair skin apply it because I was worried that honey might be too yellow gold instead of like a more neutral bronze that I prefer. But honestly, I'm blown away by the formula. I just have to find my right shade. So I'm very happy to be giving this to my friend where it will be in a loving home very soon. So now let's talk about the lip tint. This is the shade Cherry, which I will swatch on my hand for you. It is what I would describe to be a perfect combination of pink, brown, and plum. I think they really, really nailed this shade. You can see that it pulls, you can see the pink, like you can see the plum, you can see the brown. It seems to me like an equal combination of the three colors. And what it's supposed to be is like a kind of watery gel stain that just provides even cover and then just like lasts a long time. Mm. I love that this little pointed applicator is so tiny. I can really like get in there. Uh-oh. You don't want to get it all over your lip line because it really does stain. And then I just use the tip to kind of line my lips with it. There you go. So on the lips, Cherie feels like a kind of weightless gel stain you can kind of like rub your lips together and feel that kind of gel texture but it eventually subsides and you're just left with a stain i have had a few friends say that it feels drying on them but that doesn't bother me at all because i knew that it was a stain you know if you want to just add a little lip balm that's super easy but it doesn't bother me whatsoever but keep in mind it's not a balm it really is that like watery gel stain that sets down and then lasts a long time um i haven't done a proper wear test on this because frankly i would never just like wear a lip product for eight hours and and hope that it holds up i don't mind reapplying my lip products so i really don't think about wear time for them um, but I do find that this stains a long time and I absolutely love it. I think the shade of this is beautiful. The packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. I, I can't stop wearing it. Honestly, it's kind of like my perfect work lip. The way that I like to apply this is I slap it on right before a Zoom meeting. I don't have to worry about it getting on my teeth. I don't have to worry about it getting outside my lip lines. I can just talk and talk and talk and talk and I'm good to go. And I think it looks really beautiful. And it kind of just looks like the way I wish my lips naturally looked. Um, so I think that this is really a true standout from the brand. I would love to see them come out with other shades. You know, they've got that Bizu shade, which is I think like a plummy brown, not my kind of shade, but that's great for people with darker skin. I love this one. I would love to see them come out with maybe more of a darker brown for people who have darker skin. I would love to see them come out with like a universal red. That would be super fun. Maybe expand into like oranges and stuff like that. So I just really, really hope that they come out with more shades and I will definitely be picking them up. Now, a lot of people ask me to compare the Lid Luster shade to the other glitter toppers that I have in my collection. And I just have to say that this really isn't a glitter topper. I think, you know, I applied this as like sheerly as I could, but this is really what I would describe as like a glittery eyeshadow. Um, I don't think it compares to the Hourglass Scattered Lights. I don't think it compares to the Bodyography Glitter Pigments. I haven't tried the Natasha Denona Chrome whatevers, but it looks like those are different too. Those three are kind of in a category of their own because they have more of a sheer base. 
with some like scattered glitter particles, this is completely different. I'm just going to show you like what it's like really built up if you want to go for full opacity. I mean, that's like a straight up, you know, metallic shadow and I'll swatch it on the back of my hand so that you can see what I'm talking about. To me, that's not a glitter topper, you know, to me, that is just like a metallic opaque shadow with a lot of shimmer. But you can see, yeah, that kind of like rosy color does come through a little bit on my hand, but it pulls so much more smoky on my eyes. Um, it's much more of like a, a plummy, taupey shade on me, uh, but it's really beautiful. I think that gold glitter on top is kind of what makes it look more rosy because the base pigment really is straight up plum taupe. And I think, you know, that gold glitter is kind of what gives it that rosy appearance. Um, but again, on my eyes, it looks different. And if I had to compare it to another formula, I would definitely compare it to one that I have in my collection. Does this not look like exactly the same thing? Can you tell a difference? That's another reason I was disappointed by this because I already own this shade and I didn't even know it. I thought I was buying something else. Turns out I already had this one. This is the Marc Jacobs Sequins Shadow in Topaz Flash, and I will swatch it next to the one from Victoria Beckham on my hand. Now, this Marc Jacobs one is way more powdery. You can see it just picked up so much product without barely even touching it. With the Victoria Beckham one, um, you definitely kind of like work it into your hand a little bit. And I find the Victoria Beckham one has less fallout. That's what's really good about it. Um, you know, when you have a very powdery shadow, you get the crumbles, which is what I find with the Marc Jacobs shadow. But I mean, you know, next to each other, the Victoria Beckham one in uh, T Rose does pull a little bit more rose, but on my eyes, they are nearly identical. The Marc Jacobs one just has larger glitter particles and the glitter particles are multicolored. So there's like pink glitter, gold glitter, purple glitter, and then the Victoria Beckham one just has gold glitter. And I'll make sure to do some, you know, swatch inserts on my hands so you can really see what I'm talking about. But I find that they're so freaking similar on the eyes. And ultimately, that's why I decided to give this to my friend because I already own the Marc Jacobs one. And I think the Marc Jacobs one is a little bit more unique because it has multicolored glitter. So, you know, I'm going to get more shades of the lid lusters when they come out with more shades that I want. Maybe I'll pick up honey, but ultimately, yeah, like I think this is a fantastic product. You just got to find the right shade for you. Maybe check out some swatches online. I know that my friends with tan skin have been obsessed with tea rose and it definitely pulls more rosy on them. And I have heard from some of my friends with fair skin that tea rose pulls, uh, tea rose pulls more plum on them. So just keep that in mind. And that's it. That's everything that I got. Not that much, but I think it's a great introduction to the brand. I'm so excited about what they're coming out with. Um, I just, yeah, I love Victoria Beckham. I love her approach and her team's approach to products and to marketing. And I also love the fact that they crowdsourced this color. Did I use that word right? I don't know. Anyways, they asked for feedback about what shade they should make next after Bizu and they had people vote on the different lab samples and they ended up choosing this one. So I thought that was really cool. I hope this video was helpful. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a little subscribe, that would be sweet. And I hope you have a great day.